All right, so to make a moving platform, the first thing you want to do is right click and create a new actor. Call it BP Moving Platform or whatever name you would like. Open it up, double click it to open it up. Once you have it open, you want to go over here and do add. You want to search for static mesh and select cube. And then scale this down to whatever size you'd like for the height and scale it up so the player can stand on it and now we're going to come over here and go to add again and search for interp to movement right here and what this component does is it allows us to essentially move a platform for a specific duration between two points and we have different behavior types and stuff in settings we can turn on and off for the platform to interact in the environment for now though we're going to start off by adding our control points and you could add them here like this but if you do that then you can't you have to manually control them right here so instead we're going to go into the construction script and we're going to add them at compile time so inside the construction script, drag in your enter to movement, drag off of it and do add control point position and make sure position is relative is ticked so that the movement is based upon where the actual actor is and not the world's center. And we are actually going to need two of these because we need a starting point and an end point. So control C, control V. Hook the executes up, hook the objects up, and then hook this to the construction script. And now for both of these, we are going to need to promote them to variable. And the first one is going to be called start position. And if you could guess it already, the second one is going to be called end position, like that. And now there's two things we have to do with these variables. First off, we have to make them instance editable. And we have to do show 3D widget. And this widget is what we can move around and control the points without having to look at the numbers. Alright, so once you have that, you can compile and save. And then we can go back to the insert movement component. And I can go over the different abilities down here. So for the behavior types, the first type is one shot, which will just go from the start position to the end position one time. Then there is one shot reverse, which will go from the start position to the end position to the start position. All, it'll just go down, back, just once. The next is loop reset, which will make it go down, down, and then teleport back to the start and go down again. And then finally, the last one's ping pong, which is probably what you think of when you have a moving platform, and it just bounces back and forth between the two points. But you can mess with all of them and see which one you like the most. That's just a generic description of them. And I'm going to select the ping pong for now. So then we can come up here and compile and save. And we can minimize this, or we could actually close it if you want to. And then drag out an actor into the world. And as you notice, there's these two diamonds in the middle. They may be kind of hard to click. So you can come down over here in the details. And you can kind of like drag them out just a little ways. So you can click them better. And drag this one out somewhere over here. And now you can select them. And you can move this one up just a little bit. And then you can move this one sort of like over here somewhere. And now if we hit play, the platform will start here and it'll move to here and it'll just bounce back and forth. And as you can see, it's doing it as predicted. And we can also stand on it like this. And if the platform is moving a little too fast for you, then you can open it back up and on the enter to movement. The duration right here you can set it to something like three the higher the number the slower it will go 
the lower the number, the faster it will go. So three should be a decent number. And we can compile, save, close it once again, hit play, and the platform moves much slower. All right, that was a simple tutorial on how to make a moving platform. It can be used in a variety of platformer games. And yeah, if you enjoyed or found it useful, leave a like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.